He's the godfather of grime. For two decades, Wiley has been an influential figure in British culture. Throughout his life, he says he's been stabbed more than 20 times and has survived in a music industry where he's regarded as an enigmatic figure. That is until he posted a series of anti-Semitic comments on social media. He's been heavily criticized for insulting Jewish people and comparing them to the Ku Klux Klan. It's these remarks which have prompted condemnation from all political parties, including the Home Secretary. I'm not racist, you know. I'm a businessman. So if you're not racist, then why did you make the following anti-Semitic comment? You, I'm, I'm going to quote the tweet yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tweet you, can that quote. you put out. You, can you, quote. you said, Jewish community, you're too touchy. Anyway, Israel is not yours. Hold that. Do I see why that could be for, uh, as racism? Should I read it again? Let no, 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 you don't need to read it again. If I read what anti-Semitism is, and it says the Jewish community is powerful within business, that's racist, I think that's silly. I don't care what nobody says. I want to ap apologise for generalising, number one, and I want to apologise for comments that were looked at as anti-Semitic. It's the first time Wiley is speaking following a dispute with his former music manager, John Wolfe, who is Jewish. In my interview with the rapper, he repeated similar comments to those posted on his Twitter, much of which is too inflammatory to broadcast. And despite saying he regrets the generalizations he made about Jewish people, minutes later, he also said this. In the music industry, batch of people I'm talking about, they're the ones who get to benefit from it. That's what, that's what this is all about. It's systemic racism from their side. What do you think? The system and that man and a, a community of Jewish lawyers and thingy have made me feel that way. Yes, they have. They've made me feel that way. Not anti-Semitic. They've made me feel angry and upset because they are showing me the systemic racism and privilege that they're allowed to use on us. His remarks are self-defeating. And even though he denies being a racist, Wiley is still struggling to understand why his comments have now led to a police investigation. There are people who believe that your tweets are vile and okay. offensive. What? what do you say to those fans who okay. may take your word and then go on to incite hatred or commit violent acts against right. Jewish well, people? Well, if you've never seen me commit a violent act towards Jewish people or Jewish community... But what do you want to say to those fans who oh, may the, misinterpret to... what you've said? Well, what do you mean what do I want to say to them fans? When they watch this, they'll realise what has gone on, wouldn't they? Yeah, but what do you want to say? Do, you know, what do, do you... I want to say to someone who is part of that community? What do they want to say to, to someone who's part fans, of mine? To your fans. No, but don't say mine. Your you know fans. You've got... Fans are fickle. Don't, get, don't, don't wind me up. I'm 41 years old. It's not like I've got all big bag of fans. Allow it. I'm not Dave. But you've got followers on No, Twitter, don't try it. I'm not Dave and that. I'm not current. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? I'm 41. I'm at the end of my career rather than the beginning. The offence and outrage of the rapper's remarks has left the Jewish community demanding action. The alarm and offence he's caused is unimaginable and he's clearly not sorry whatsoever. This is a man also with 500,000 Twitter followers. He needs to be charged with incitement to racial hatred. He needs to face the full force of the law. Seen here with Prince William in 2018, Wiley was awarded an MBE for his services to music. There are calls for you to be stripped of your MBE. Take it back. I've never had that in my possession except for a picture outside Buckingham Palace. Everything that gets done is for John Wolfe. I ain't got an award or a plaque or nothing. I ain't got nothing in my yard to show. <laughs> John Wolfe's got the MBE. I've never had the MBE. It's framed in his house. Now who was the MBE for, really? Don't think that I was sitting there like, oh, where's my MBE? I need my OBE. I need my knighthood. Where's my Richard Branson? No. A spokesperson for Wiley's former manager, John Wolfe, says the rapper's MBE has been framed and is waiting for him to collect. Wiley's Twitter and Instagram rants have coincided with the Black Lives Matter movement. And among campaigners, it has created a discussion. I definitely think Wiley's tweets are dangerous. I do think they could incite violence. I know from first hand like how this stuff trickles down and stuff online um, crosses over to real life because it's something I've suffered and it's something that you know I tried to show solidarity to the Jewish community and I said I'm really sorry for anyone triggered by this and you know it's pitiful it's really pitiful. Wiley has now been permanently banned from Twitter 
and other social media companies are also considering banning him forever. His reputation has been badly tarnished and it's hard to see how he can recover from this. Noel Phillips, Sky News.